Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy Tactics walkthrough. Uh, we are just doing the second of, I believe it's three battles? Four. Four battles. Wow, okay. Uh, for the Beowulf side quest, I would say. Um, I guess technically you could argue that there's five, um, but uh, there's four in a row. Uh, that we have to deal with. Now, this one coming up here, I would say uh, it's good to have somebody with the ability to steal. Uh, specifically, I believe it's a weapon. Uh, so we will have another one of the elemental guns here to to rip off from our enemies, or one of our enemies, I should say. But, uh, alright, so who do we have left here? Who am I bringing? I really don't know why I'm bringing Rafa. I'll be completely honest. I have no idea. It makes no sense to me. <laughs> I barely used her at all for the rest of the game. And when I did, it was just uh, because uh, she's got a really, really low brave stat. And uh, I used her actually for uh, the like obtaining the items with the move find item command. So... Again, not really sure why I bothered taking her here. We don't need that ability at all. Um, a dancer would have been more useful, in my opinion, here. But that is not what I did, so. Uh, all right, so let's take a look here at what we've got. Regular thief, nothing fancy. Another thief, nothing fancy. I believe, where's the chemist at? There he is. There he is, the blaze gun right there. So I'm going to try to steal that now. If I remember correctly, we've already got one. And uh, to be honest, uh, I could have duplicated it. Uh, I believe it's the one that we got from uh, Bulk in, uh, in the Bed Desert. All right, doing a little, doing a little screaming. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually, I'm actually using that ability actually just to uh, bring up Rem's speed a bit try to help out his uh, his steal percentage which again uh, if you're not familiar with the way stealing works in this game uh, it's uh, mostly based off of your speed stat uh, there is a bit more to it but that is the, the main stat and the best way I would say to uh, to increase your uh, success rate oh here we go boom ah, that was pretty weak Speed save. All right, so <clears throat> unfortunately, that chemist moved to a spot that I'm not going to be able to steal from him uh, at, if I remember correctly here. So we'll have to try to convince him to move. Sudden cry. Uh, so the behemoth type enemies have that ability, and I'm not sure if it's all three or if it's just uh, the first two tiers of behemoths. But they have that ability called Sudden Cry, and it randomly will uh, one-shot you. So, uh, again, it's got that added effect where, again, it can just straight-up kill you. So, uh, a bit a bit dangerous. Uh, not to mention the fact that they actually do have a really, really good uh, like physical uh, attack stat. So, they'll be able to do some pretty decent damage to you. Uh, as with... I would say all beefy monsters, really good ways to kind of stop them in their track. Uh, tracks are things like uh, don't act, um, don't move, sleep, uh, you know, paralyze. I guess pa paralyzed adds the don't act, so that's basically the same thing. But uh, really, really, I would say status effects work really good against the, uh, you know, the monsters in the game, especially the ones like, like I said, once we. You get to a certain level and the monsters just start getting so much health. It takes a, uh, can it can take a long time to kind of hack through all of it, uh, unless you're bringing uh, Sid along, in which case he will make quick work of anything you put in front of him. <laughs> and here, uh, I'm not sure why I just ran away. Uh, I should have used uh, Night Sword. I believe it's Night Sword. That's the one that absorbs health from your target. <coughs> also from the uh, the Dark Knight uh, skill set. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Really, 
really we yeah, really weird choice of actions here. Unless uh, unless Orlando didn't have Night Sword yet, I'm not sure if he has it right away, right when you uh, get him, or if you need to get a bit of uh, JP first. Uh, that's the only reason why I can see uh, why I wouldn't have done that. And I don't believe I was trying to capture. Uh, sorry, uh, or um, train any of these monsters. So, uh, you know, maybe if Ramza has got poach equipped, it's the only thing I can think of, but I thought he had uh, two swords on, so I would be surprised here. I guess we're going to find out. Boom. Ah, he is equipped with poach. Okay. Well, now it's all becoming clear. Uh, I don't remember what the behemoths actually have as far as, uh, you know, what you get from poaching them. I feel like it's a good, uh, they're good poaches, though. Uh, there's, I would say, like, the, the monsters that you kind of come across at the beginning of the game, like, you know, like your yellow chocobo. Um, oh, wow! I think uh, Rafa hit way harder than I was expecting there. Uh, but that's okay. Agris has the... Uh, Chanted John, so she'll just get back up. Uh, but anyways, like the monsters at the beginning of the game, you know, ch the the yellow chocobo, for instance, uh, I would say kind of all of the goblins, you know, all three tiers of the goblins. Um, what else? Uh, the bombs. I don't think the bombs really have anything worthwhile to poach. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, the, the monsters are towards the beginning of the game that you come across... I don't feel like it's really that, you know, beneficial to poach them. Uh, but these other ones uh, that you come across later on in the game, Behemoths, Dragons, uh, the Uribo. Uh, what else? Those are the only ones I can... Oh, the, the Plague. That, that guy's got a pretty good... The Zorlin shape, I believe, is the, the dagger that you can poach from them. Um, so anyway, so like the, the monsters like that, uh, much, much more uh, beneficial to poach them. Uh, you know, much better rewards. <coughs> but uh, anyways, all right, who do we have left here? We've got this thief way up at the top. Um, I actually like, uh, so the, the thief is a male, and actually the, the one at the beginning, uh, down at the bottom, is a male as well. So, um, you know, if you, I guess I would say if you have female uh, units, you may want to keep them away uh, from, from the, those thieves. Uh, and then if you can, you know, get them taken out, uh, then you won't have to worry about uh, them charming. Uh, unfortunately here, I'm still not able to steal from this guy. He's still in a bad spot. I really need to get him to move. Which I think he does. Yep, right here. So it looks like we should be able to steal from him uh, here at this spot. Hopefully he won't kill me before that happens. <laughs> uh, and I think I try for a poach on that behemoth as well. I don't know how well it works out, but I guess we'll see. And there I didn't want to knock out Agrius again, being that I got up and started dancing again. There, I do have Night Sword. Okay. Nighty night. Oh, that skill is so good. And uh, Mustadio is singing here at the bottom. The cheer song. I think that's my favorite of the songs. Obviously, it raises up speed. All right. Uh, only, only real bad thing I would say about uh, cheer song is... Uh, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't always land, so you can't necessarily count on it, but I still feel like it's worthwhile. Uh, that speed, you know, that speed stat just gives you such a huge advantage. Alright, here we go. Come on! No! Alright, one fail. I think we'll be okay. I think we can deal with one. One failed attempt. Let's 
get this uh, behemoth under control here too. Oh, oh, going with the speed break. Okay. Hmm. Interesting choice there. Especially with that behemoth still alive. It's uh, a little odd. I guess I wasn't too concerned about him. Alright, let's go for the steel. Come on! Don't fail me now! Yeah, yeah! Alright, there we go. So there's the blaze gun. Um, I believe that's the, again, I'm fairly certain anyway that that's my second one. Um, and those are actually, you can duplicate those as well if you want with the item duplication bug. Uh, which is eh, pretty useful actually, to be honest. Oh, someone's gonna die. Boom! That was a lot of damage. Poor Rafa. She didn't deserve that. She didn't deserve to be treated like that. <laughs> so here I duped all kinds of uh, Excaliburs, but I notice now I must not have equipped one. Oh, no, I did not equip one on um, Beowulf. And he actually can equip that in his Temple Knight job, so that's kind of interesting. I'm not really sure why, uh, why he doesn't have one equipped. Doing a little more singing. I think that's yeah, it's pretty much over. Um, <clears throat> Seventy-two. All right. Looks like this will put this behemoth into poach range pretty easily here. So I'm going to assume I'm going to poach, and that will be the end of this battle. Yeah, so, uh, all right, anyways, I gotta cut the commentary here. As always, hope this guide was helpful, and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.